everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about a whole bunch of fragrances from a brand called Cuba. So, I one night just got to looking, I somehow came across them, I got to looking at them on Fragrance X. There are tons of perfumes in this line. Um, I was intrigued by the little cigar bottles, which I thought were going to be plastic, but have they, they actually are glass. And then I got onto Fragrance Net and was looking to see what they have. I always check between the two sites to see who has things um, cheaper, and Fragrance Net actually was a little bit cheaper, plus they had these kits. Um, they had these kits where you could get four different fragrances. Um, these are one ounce bottles too, so 30 mil one ounce bottles, four of them for like 12 and 13 dollars they're they're so incredibly inexpensive so i was a little bit apprehensive because usually when things are that inexpensive it means that the materials used are not going to be that great um, you might get something that's like body spray quality which i was willing to take the chance for such a little amount of money um, and i'm just intrigued whenever i get intrigued by something i just i'm not gonna like stop being intrigued until I get my nose on them. Yeah, which I finally have and I do definitely have some thoughts. So I've got I have got 14 different fragrances here. I'm gonna jump right in. The first one I have is this one here called Cuba Chic. So these ones, um, I'm not as crazy about the bottle, about the bottles on the big ones. These are the 3.3 ounce bottles. And yeah, I'm just not, um, I'm not crazy about these. They're definitely not as cute as the like cigar, little cigar bottles. Okay, so Cuba Chic, I am going to read out all the notes in this video just because I'm not at all familiar with any of these really. There are a couple that I took to immediately, but okay. So the top notes on this one are orange, lemon, and bergamot, middle notes of cinnamon, jasmine, and melon, and base notes of praline, pomelo, and rose. And this one is fine. I thought that this had patchouli in it. When I first smelled this, I definitely thought that I was smelling patchouli, like a light floral patchouli. That's what it smells like to me, but there's no patchouli listed in here, so... I'm not sure where I'm getting the patchouli from, but it really does smell like, it really does smell like it's got patchouli in it. It could be the way that the cinnamon is kind of meshing with the other notes, but I'm trying to see. This one doesn't have any reviews and it doesn't have any like smells like. So yeah, really I can tell you that I don't enjoy this one. So anyways, yeah, this one I'm not crazy about because it smells like a light floral patchouli to me which is just, they're not my favorite kind of fragrances, but for being like, I think this was a $12 fragrance for a 3.3 ounce bottle. For being a $12 fragrance, I mean, it smells, it smells perfectly decent to me. It doesn't smell super cheap. It doesn't smell like a body spray. I mean, it smells like a light floral patchouli perfume. So anyways, yeah, that one was definitely not my favorite. That one is called Cuba Chic. Um, but I feel like for the price, it's it's actually really nice. So there's that one. Okay, this next one is another one that I was not crazy about. This is the this one is called um, Cuba City Hollywood. A bunch of these different city ones, and this is the Hollywood one. So this one this smells just like something cuba city hollywood is top notes of cranberry tomato and raspberry that's why i got this one because because it had the tomato in it i was really really interested in the tomato note um, i'm not getting tomato though so i'm sorry starting over top notes are cranberry tomato and raspberry middle notes are orange blossom rose and violet base notes are musk patchouli and sandalwood um, this one, I don't get tomato at all, and this one is, it's sickening sweet to me. It doesn't have any, like, a ton of sweet notes in it, though, which is the weird thing, but somehow it's, like, sickeningly sweet to me. There's one note in there that is, that is off smelling to me that I just really do not like. So, yeah, this one was definitely a no for me. Um, I barely get to my nose, but it's there. It's there? 
Okay, I'm about to go put it on. Okay. Yeah. I do think that this one would be, um, I do though think that a lot of people would like this. It's, and after it dries down, it starts to smell a lot better than when you first spray it on. It's what it really is, honestly, it smells like a fruity perfume to me and I'm just not a huge fan of fruity perfumes. So yeah, that one was not my favorite. That one, again, is called um, Hollywood and it's just okay for me. Okay, next we have got this one here. This is called Cuba Miami. I'm sorry, I'll see if I can hold these up so you guys can see them. Um, they're not the most tasteful. Like, they're not in the most tasteful packaging ever, but I honestly try to suspend my judgment when I'm dealing with fragrance, like all fragrance, because just like I mentioned in my the haul video I don't price is not a good indication as to whether a fragrance is going to be good or not yes it can give you an idea of the quality of the materials that are used but just because a fragrance is incredibly expensive it does not mean that it's going to be worth the price tag or that it's going to be a great fragrance um, some niche fragrances are absolute garbage and they are $300 a bottle and some fragrances like this little guy here which is like a five or six dollar bottle of perfume this one here is awesome this one smells I think it's supposed to be a dupe of Dolce & Gabbana light blue I'm gonna test this next to it smells a little bit more like Moschino I love love than it does Dolce & Gabbana light blue but it mostly reminds me of my Armoff tag her oil. It's got the creaminess that the tag her oil has and it's not quite as bright smelling as Moschino I Love Love. Um, Moschino I Love Love has just so much, such a bright orange in it, but this, it smells very, very similar. And I loved this one. Um, this one was immediately a winner for me. I was like, yes, give me anything that smells like I Love Love. It's just such a fun, happy, uplifting fragrance. Charlotte wears the heck out of I Love Love. She sprays it on almost every time she walks in here. In fact, I'm going to get her to come in here and spray this one on because neither of I haven't been able to test any of these yet. Um, as I go through them and test them, they will come up in a What I Wore Last Week video where I will give you guys the lowdown on how they perform, um, what they're like, if they, you know, if they are, and I'll test them next to whatever they're clones of as well, if I've got the original in my collection, which a lot of them I do. So, okay, um, Cuba City, Miami is, top notes of bamboo and coriander, middle notes are geranium, pepper, and lavender, Base notes are musk, cedar, and tonka bean, which is crazy because that to me, those those don't sound like the notes of like, I love love, but it smells just like it. Hey Charlotte, yeah. come test this perfume for me. Okay. I think you're gonna love this. Okay, perfume. what do you think? Your hair is so pretty today. Here, let's put some on your wrists too. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Oh. It smells just like the Armoff so Tag Her Oil, huh? It smells so good. It smells so good. It's so anyways, good. you guys, that is an amazing little winner of a fragrance. I want to say that it was Wait. like... It smells like cucumber. It does? Yeah. Oh, it's so good though. I get cucumber, yeah, Maybe. there's cucumber in there. Yeah. <laughs> I know cucumber. there's cucumber. It's got lavender and geranium and it's got, yeah, it's got like a bright greenness to it almost. It's so nice. There's cucumber in there. Yeah? Yeah. Let me smell again. Oh my gosh, it's so good, you guys. This one is so good. This is what I mean by you cannot judge by the price. This is like a $6 perfume and it can hold its own definitely next to like any of you know, the Dolce & Gabbana light blue kind of clones, and it's a $6 one. So that was a really good find. I'm super excited. I will test this next to um, Moschino I Love Love, as well as my Tag Her oil, and I will, of course, let you guys know in a What I Wore Last Week video how that one pans out. So anyways, that is Cuba, Miami. Okay, 
Next, we're going to get into the kits here. So we'll start with this one here. This is the Cuba Jungle for Women. And this comes with four different fragrances. We'll start with this one here. This is called Cuba Heartbreaker. And I think these bottles are super cute. Um, they are glass. So this one came in two of these kits. So I do have um, a double of this. So I will probably send one to my friend in Georgia because why not? They, they just sit so cute too. They're, I don't know. I really like these little bottles. This one is just a super pleasant, light, fun, fresh, fruity fragrance. There's definitely nothing groundbreaking about it. It's There's nothing like amazing about it, but it is just a nice fruity fragrance. It's one that I will be happy to throw on just really any time. It reminds me of like a celebrity fragrance or yeah, I think people say this one smells like the original Paris Hilton perfume, which I will let you know in a second. So, Cuba Heartbreaker is... Uh, top notes are red currant, orange, and pink pepper. Middle notes are peony, jasmine, violet, and green tea. Base notes are amber, musk, and cedar. No, I'm sorry. This one is... Com this one gets compared to the original Ed Hardy perfume, which I've never smelled. It also gets compared to Cacherelle Amour Amour, which I do not agree with at all. I think Amour Amour is more of a rose fragrance, and I don't get, and I think it's also got quite a like heavy synthetic cedar note in it, if I remember correctly. I have a sample of Amour Amour, but of course it's in storage at this point. This also gets compared to Moschino Funny, which I am, I don't think that this smells like funny either, so, but people do swear that it smells like the original Ed Hardy, and I haven't smelled an Ed Hardy fragrance in so long, I couldn't even tell you, but it smells like it could be like an Ed Hardy fragrance, for sure. It reminds me of kind of like the later mid-2000s. It reminds me of a celebrity fragrance. It's just a super pleasant, like, fruity fragrance. It's kind of juvenile smelling, but in a good way. It's fun. It's fresh. It's clean. It's slightly sweet. It's fruity. It's nice. I mean, it's perfectly fine for about the $4 range because I think I paid about $12 for these four fragrances. So no, I'm sorry. So that would make these like $3. So for like a $3 perfume, it's, it's definitely not bad at all. So anyways, that one is Heartbreaker. Okay, next we have got Cuba Jungle Zebra. There are so many like really inexpensive brands out there that I want to try. Um, I think Lomani is going to be next on my list, but there are so many that I'm just super intrigued by. I don't know why, but I just am. Um, okay, so Zebra is, let's see here. They don't have any notes listed for this one. All they have is um, like the where people can vote for notes. And it says water lily, spices, nutmeg, and cardamom. But I can tell you guys, this is a pretty darn spot-on clone of Dior Jador. I recognized it immediately. Like, as soon as I pulled these out of the packaging and was going through spraying them, I knew immediately this was a dupe for Jador. Jador is not my favorite fragrance in the world. It's like a, it is a really nice, pretty warm floral. There's a heaviness about Jador, though. And I think it's one of those fragrances that if it smells amazing on you, it's like magic. But for those of us that it doesn't smell amazing on, it's not magic. This is a really, really pretty, very, very inexpensive dupe of Jador. So anyways, that one is called Cuba Jungle Zebra. Next, we have got Cuba Jungle Tiger. I'm probably gonna get so much hate for this video. <laughs> people are so weird about really inexpensive fragrances. They actually, some people actually get really mad about it. So yeah, I'm just, I'm waiting for, we'll see what kind of hate I get. Oh, this one has a very prominent violet note in it, but it's, this is super sweet. I didn't love this one. Um, okay. So Cuba Jungle Tiger is Magnolia, Iris, and Green Mandarin, Hyacinth and Violet, Cashmere Wood, and Vetiver. That's why. Okay. 
This one smells very, very similar, and I've actually got the reformulated version of Poem from Lancome right here. So I am actually going to spray this because it immediately reminded me of the reformulated version of Poem. And so yeah, I just wanna test them side by side right here. Oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> wow. They literally smell exactly alike. I cannot tell a difference. I can tell you that the Tiger is pretty linear and it's a little, like maybe the slightest bit sweeter than Poem. And I remember Poem smelling just like Tiger for the first like maybe 15, 20 minutes, but then Poem gets very, very spicy. The reformulated version of Poem gets very, very spicy. And the Jungle Tiger stays pretty linear. So if you like Poem and you like the way that it smells in the first 15 minutes after you spray it, and this is only the reformulation, it does not smell like, um, I've got a little tiny baby of the original formulation of Poem right here. It does not smell like this. Actually, Tiger, the Cuba Jungle Tiger probably smells more like the original than the reformulation in the dry down because the reformulation gets too spicy. That's why the reformulation is not as good as the original because it gets too spicy and it loses itself in the dry down of the reform. But Jungle Tiger doesn't. It continues to smell like the original. So that's funny. I said I didn't like it, but I do. I do like it. I do like this. So Cuba, so Cuba Jungle Tiger is a dupe of Lancome Poem, but like all the best parts of it and the original, like the original formulation of Lancome Poem. Definitely, now don't get me wrong, you're not gonna get the quality that you would get with the original formulation of Lancome Poem. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'm not gonna get the, the same kind of longevity, but I am gonna test this next to the original and I will do, I may even do a what it, is it a dupe video. Yeah, in fact, I might do some is it a dupe videos with these so we can find out, you know, so I can test them side by side and we can find out if they are dupes. So anyways, yeah, this one is a winner. It reminds me, I think it's supposed to be a clone of the original formulation of Poem, which just makes me so happy that there is a, especially a really, really affordable fragrance on the market that smells like Lancome Poem. And I love this brand for making clones of per older perfumes like that, which we're gonna come across some more as well. Um, so anyways, yeah, that is Cuba Jungle Tiger, which is a clone of, or I think a clone of Lancome Poem, the original formulation. And then the last one in this set is this one here. This is Cuba Jungle Snake. These labels kill me. They're so funny. So I'm not, my camera does not like to focus on shiny things. Um, okay, Cuba Jungle Snake. This one is actually really nice. It's very clean and fresh. Uh, Cuba Jungle Tiger also gets compared to John, Jean, uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier Classique. So sorry, before we move on to this one. Um, it gets compared to that, which eh, I think it smells more like Poem than Classique. So Cuba Jungle Snake has top notes of, I remember, yes, I love this one, top notes of Angelica and Tuberose, middle notes are Rose and Jasmine, and the base note is Musk. Um, the Angelica is very, very prominent in this, which makes it smell way more expensive than it actually is. This gets compared to Ralph Lauren Romance. Absolutely not. It does not smell like romance at all to me. Um, it gets compared to a bunch of different fragrances, and I didn't really feel like um, I didn't really feel like it smelled like any of the fragrances that people think it smells like. It definitely does not smell like romance, in my opinion. Um, this is just a very light, fresh, super easy to wear, clean floral. With a really, really prominent and uh, with a really, really prominent angelica note, 
if you don't like Angelica, I don't think that you would like this. This is not sweet at all. This is a really clean, fresh floral. I loved this one. In my opinion, this one smells so much more expensive than it is. It's really, really pretty. I cannot wait to give this one a good full wear test. If you like Angelica, I think you would really like this. So anyways, that one is called Cuba Jungle Snake. I'm telling you guys, there are some really, there are some hidden, hidden gems in these kits. Okay, next we have got this quad here, and this one is actually called uh, Cuba for Women Quad One. This one has Heartbreaker in it again, so I'm not gonna pull that one out a second time, but Heartbreaker is, it, Heartbreaker is the one that smells kind of like a celebrity scent. So we're gonna start with Cuba La Vida. These ones are hilarious because they've got pictures of Benjamin Franklin on them, which I think is funny and confusing and yeah, I'm not getting it. Like, is it supposed to be like gar cigars and hundred dollar bills? I'm just not totally sure. Okay, so Cuba La Vida. This is a La Vida Bell dupe. For sure. Yeah, this is your typical sweet, fruity, patchouli, and floral. Um, okay. So the notes on this one are, uh, top notes are pear and black currant, middle notes are iris, jasmine, and orange blossom, base notes are patchouli, vanilla, tonka bean, and praline. I knew immediately, I knew immediately as soon as I smelled it, it smelled like um, the Via Bell, but then as soon as I saw the notes, I was like, yeah, absolutely. And if you scroll down, it gets compared to La Via Belle as, we, as well as Sofia from Sofia Vergara, which I also agree with. Some people think it smells like, definitely Chopard Wish. It smells like Chopard Wish as well. Some people think that this smells like Angel Muse from Mugler. And it does a little bit smell like Angel Muse. That was, Yoda, that was like Yoda talk right there. It does a little bit smell like Angel Muse. But yeah, it does. It's definitely in that family of fragrances. La Via Belle, Chopard Wish, Angel Muse. It's a sweet, fruity, patchouli fragrance. Floral. Sweet, fruity, patchouli, and floral. It's nice. I don't love La Via Belle. Um, so I definitely... This was definitely not my favorite, but for people out there that do like those kinds of fragrances, I think you would really like this. Um, and it's a very, very inexpensive alternative. So anyways, that one is called Cuba La Vida. Okay, next we have got this one here. This is Cuba Victory. I hope you guys are interested in this video. I don't even know. Um, if you're not, then I'll just quit filming videos with really inexpensive perfumes. <laughs> um, just because I am, I get super interested in them, but I don't know if anybody else is or not. Okay, Cuba Victory. Let's see what this one smells like. This smells like um, Olympia. This smells like Paco Rabanne Olympia, which again is not my favorite fragrance. I don't love it, so it's even, even the liquid is the same color. Like it's got that kind of orangey pink liquid. Okay, so um, Cuba Victory is top notes are green tangerine and ginger, sorry, green tangerine, ginger flower, and water jasmine. Middle note is vanilla. Base notes are cashmere, sandalwood, and ambergris. So, and the only fragrance that people compare it to is Paco Rabanne Olympia. It smells just like it. I mean, just like it. Again, the quality is probably not as great as Olympia. But I knew, I recognized it immediately when I sprayed this. I was like, oh my gosh, it smells just like Olympia. So this, again, this is not a fragrance that I really enjoy. So I will definitely be de decluttering this one. For all of you Olympia lovers out there, this is an amazing little, very, very inexpensive um, clone of it for sure. So anyways, that is Cuba Victory. And then next we have another Benjamin Franklin. This is um, Cuba VIP Woman. I really do like these bottles. I love that they're glass. 
This would be like good ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> for sure okay and some of you are probably like stop i hate asmr <laughs> okay top notes so vip woman is top note is champagne rosé middle note is peach blossom and base notes are white musk swartzia whatever that is and amber i think swartzia yeah it's like a green plant um this one gets compared to the only fragrance this gets compared to is Carolina Herrera uh, 212 VIP Rosé, which again, I have a sample of that in storage and I'm pretty sure that this is a, a pretty darn spot on dupe for it. I don't remember that fragrance super well because I didn't really enjoy it and I don't really enjoy this one either but I'm pretty sure this smells almost dead on to it. Yes, it's really, really very similar. I don't, this again, it doesn't smell as, it's not as good of quality as VIP, 212 VIP Rosé, but I mean, it smells so, so similar. So again, a really very inexpensive alternative to, not that Carolina Herrera fragrances are crazy expensive, but I mean, they're definitely not this inexpensive. So yeah, that's a, um, if you like that kind of champagne and fresh rose kind of fragrance, I think you would really like this. I think it's the synthetic woods in the base that get me. I think that's what makes me not love them. But yeah, um, it's it's nice for what it is. So anyways, that is Cuba VIP Woman. Okay, and then the last four we have are these. This is the Cuba Latino for, woman, for women. Um, and this one has got some super fun ones in it. So the first one we have is Cuba Cactus. Okay, so Cuba Cactus is uh, top note is green accord, middle note is oriental flower notes, and base note is spicy notes. So yeah, this was one of the ones that didn't have, um, it didn't have a great description of notes. So on Fragrantica, people say that this one smells like Ralph from Ralph Lauren, which I totally agree with. Um, it's got, it's a little tiny bit different. This is also the one that gets compared to the original Paris Hilton perfume, which shame on me, I still have never smelled that fragrance. But this smells very, very similar to Ralph from Ralph Lauren, which I just decluttered because it just wasn't smelling great on me. So I'm excited to try this one. Maybe it'll smell better on me than Ralph did, but if not, it's totally fine. But yeah, it gets compared to um, the original Paris Hilton and Ralph from Ralph Lauren. And I can very confidently tell you it smells like, it definitely smells like Ralph. So yeah, really, really pretty one. I'm very excited to try that one out because Ralph, again, just wasn't working great with my skin. So I'm hoping maybe this one will. Um, so anyways, that is Cuba Cactus. Okay, next we've got Cuba Maya. And what a cute little label. I do think the label is super cute. So Maya is the one, this one also doesn't have very descriptive, it doesn't have any notes listed. It just has the pictures where people can vote and it says exotic fruits, exotic floral notes, and musk. However, this is the one, this is the one that smells like Burberry Baby Touch which I had years and years ago. And I can tell you it smells very, very similar. This one I feel like is a little bit stronger. Um, it definitely is. It's a little bit stronger and it's a little bit more floral than Baby Touch, but it's so familiar. This was one of the ones that I was actually like, wow, that's like super interesting for them to make a fragrance that smells like Baby Touch, which to me is such an obscure fragrance. So I'm gonna read you the notes for Baby Touch just because these are, they are so similar. 
and it might give you a better idea of what this actually smells like. Um, so the top notes are lemon verbena, mint, rhubarb, orange, and mandarin orange. Middle notes are cyclamen, lily of the valley, jasmine, and orange blossom. Base notes are milk, vanilla, and moss. And yes, it's it smells very, very similar. You definitely get those kind of green, dry florals. You definitely get like a minty, I don't wanna say mint, cause it's not like a cool mint. I don't know, well, yeah, you definitely get those kind of drier, green smelling florals. You definitely get a ton of citrus. It's really, really fresh and clean and kind of gentle smelling at the same time, but this is, I would say Maya is a lot stronger than Baby Touch. But yeah, this one I was like really impressed by because I don't know, it's just such a different smelling perfume. Baby Touch is such an obscure perfume. People used to ask me what I'm wearing and what I would tell them, they'd be like, oh, I've never heard of that one before um, just because it wasn't a very popular fragrance. So anyways, that is Cuba Maya. Next we've got Cuba Carnival. This one reminded me of like, I don't know if you guys had ever smelled any of the antidote fragrances. Again, this one doesn't have notes listed, but as far as the pictures go, it's got caramel, white chocolate, orchid, musk, jasmine, woody notes, and orris root. The thing that bothers me about the picture breakdown is there's no order. There's no like top to, you know, top, middle, and base notes. It's just like they're all, it's all mixed in all over the place. So it's just, I don't know. It bothers me though. This one people say smells like Britney Spears fantasy. And I do not get fantasy at all. I've got fantasy intense sitting right in front of me. So I'm just going to spray fantasy intense and just see. Um, no. No, I am, this does not smell like fantasy to me at all. It doesn't have the creaminess that fantasy has. So I'm sorry, I had to give that one a thumbs down because I just didn't agree at all. It also gets compared to Calvin Klein Euphoria. And I can see that one a little bit more than fantasy. Like I can, I can definitely see the resemblance, though this is nowhere near as like rich smelling as Euphoria, especially not the original formulation. This might be closer to the reformulation of Euphoria. It also gets compared to, to Rihanna, is it Rebel? Let me see, yeah, Rihanna Rebel Fleur, which that I would say is the best match. Um, yeah, I would say this smells like Rebel Fleur, which I didn't love Rebel Floor, but I like this Cuba Carnival a lot better. I'm interested to see what this one is like on skin. I haven't tried this one on skin at all. Let me just see. Let me just um, do a little spray on my hand. Let's just see what this is gonna be like. Hmm, it, that one like was really, that one warmed up on my skin like immediately. the caramel comes out a ton on skin. You know what I bet this is supposed to be a dupe of is Victor and Ralph Bon Bon. Yeah, I definitely get a resemblance. There's a little bit of a resemblance to, yeah, there's a slight resemblance to Victor and Ralph Bon Bon. But anyways, that is Cuba Carnival. That one's okay. It wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't my least favorite either. And then last but not least, this has probably been a massively long video. Last but not least, we've got Cuba Copa Cabana and this one, I really do think these bottles are so cute. I know I've said that like five times, but this one almost, this one I can smell mint in like immediately. And I don't know, I don't know if it's got mint in it or not. Let me see here. So this is another one that doesn't have any notes listed, but it says floral notes, musk, and woody notes. This one also gets compared to Ralph Lauren Romance. I don't agree with that at all. It also gets compared to Armani Code. Yeah, I can see Armani Code. Um, let me see, I've got Code right behind me, so. Let's just, this is the original formulation of Code. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, okay. That is a dupe for Armani Code. 
like the original formulation of Armani code. Wow, so it's orange blossom. Oh my goodness, you guys, that is, that is so close. Those smell so much alike. That's crazy. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. The I, I would say that the, the Cuba one smells a little bit less, you know, it's, it doesn't smell quite as yeah, it's definitely lacking a little bit of the quality, I'm not going to lie, but it's so, so close. Wow, that's crazy. I was not expecting that. Okay, so let me tell you what the notes are for Code, and that'll give you an idea of what Copacabana has in it. So top, no top notes are Italian orange, jasmine, and bitter orange. Middle notes are jasmine, orange blossom, and ginger. Um, and base notes are honey, vanilla, and sandalwood. Yeah, okay, so Copacabana is a dupe for our money code. Wow, the original formulation. But I bet the Copacabana actually performs more or performs more like the reformulated version of our money code. Maybe better, because the reformulation of our money code is garbage. Wow, you guys, I'm stunned right now. I had no idea. It's been such a long time since I've pulled out code that like, I didn't even put the two together. But yeah, um, Copacabana is definitely a great dupe for our money code. So anyways, guys, that is the last one. And those are, what did I say, 14 different Cuba fragrances that yeah, I picked up because I was just super intrigued by them. Again, I will keep you guys updated on them as I wear through them. I will definitely have them in what I wore last week videos, you know, as I wear through them. And I'll keep you guys updated on how they perform and, you know, just I'll give you all the details or the lowdown. Let me know if there are any of them that you want me to do a is it a dupe? video on um, because most of them that they are dupes for something I do have the original so I could definitely do that I will tell you that carnival one oh my gosh it's so pretty it's reminding me a little bit of the antidote perfume called I think it's called Havana or Havana lounge that's it's reminding me of Havana lounge but it's also reminding me of something else like more expensive I'm getting like slight, almost wet tobacco vibes from it. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna let you get out of here, but I do hope that you all enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.